Abe or Ed? The immune system, how much in the gut is part of the immune system? It's not very much, Ed. It's only 85%. Gut microflora is only 85% of your immune system. I, I wouldn't worry about that. It's the same thing. Okay, this is your gut. Now, we've learned that God is a God of order. And so if the immune system in your gut is about 85%, what do you think the immune system of your soil is from your biology? Any guesses? The same. Depends on how you treat it. <laughs> That's exactly right. It has the potential of having up to 85% of the immunity of your plant. And we're going to talk exactly how that happens. It's a great point, Ed. Is biology runs the health of the world. Please. What's the other 15%? Well, what we would call this would be Oops, you have to forgive my spelling, okay? We're going to talk about genes, chromosomes, DNA, RNA, and enzymes. Okay? Okay, this is, this is the intelligent, this is the divine intelligence. It's a good thing that camera's way back there so he can't see how badly I wrote intelligence. Divine intelligence is the other part of this. Okay? Now, when we talk about genes, all right, right here, for a lot of years, science thought that genes had all the control on what happens. They do not. They have about 5% control of what happens. The rest of that is what they call epigenetics. And what that says is the environment has the biggest say. My soil environment, my gut environment, my nutrition environment. Those are the things that have a much larger impact on the expression of genes. And microbes, believe it or not, produce the on and off switches for our genes. Like, yep, let's kick this guy in gear, or let's not do this one. Microbes have a big part in activating or deactivating gene function. So, if I decide I am going to live at McDonald's, okay, you, I promise you, will have an epigenetic consequence. Even though you have great genes that says, you're going to live to be 110, I can promise you McDonald's will change that factor. That's an epigenetic consequence, okay? Our cereal grains, we're going to talk about those in just a second. They have a genetic potential of 250 to 300 kernels per head. They're born with that. It comes in that beautiful intelligence that comes with them. How many do we get? Do we get all 250 no matter what we do? We do not. Because that environment, that epigenetic experience that the organism goes through has a way bigger factor than the gene, the, the, the gene instruction. Okay? So did I get to your question okay? Okay. So we have the ability to try and enhance the intelligence that God put into plants. There is not a problem with the plant's engineering. 
there is not a problem with the plant's DNA. God did not make that mistake. Okay? Where the results lie in is how well we manage that. Okay? So, 